So today I wanted to talk about uh, a bunch of recent events, which I'm not going to go into, but I think we all know what's been happening lately and the severity of uh, the repercussions of a minority group of people who are extremists, and I mean MAGA Republicans, and I mean the cult members, and I mean Christian nationalists. And the issue here is that you believed that this was going to fly in 2023 just because you uh, got three Supreme Court justices in under false pretenses, they lied, and you had a narcissistic megalomaniac allowing this country to go under his rule, because that's what it was, for four years. And when he lost, because people rejected that, he was not willing to accept that. And as many others have pointed out, Donald Trump is just the, the uh, symptom of the problem. The problem is that evidently a third or more of this country doesn't seem to understand what democracy is, doesn't understand what separation of church and state is, and this has been going on for many, many, many years, their plan. This is not a conspiracy theory. The Seven Mountain Project, which I'm going to do some videos about, you can look it up, and, sorry, bugs, and uh, you will see that this was a very contrived, elaborate plan. And when you have trigger warnings in place for laws to be undone and uh, immediately taken back when Roe v. Wade was overturned by the corrupt Supreme Court, this, this is a plan. This is something that the religious right have wanted to do for a very long time, and they had the perfect buffoon, the perfect person to use, and many of them do believe in his, uh, compl I, I guess that he was chosen by God. Now, that your beliefs are all your own. If that's what you want to believe, that's fine, but it's utter nonsense. So, where I'm leading with this, uh, we, we see the, the, the blowback here by many different people in this country. We're not going to take this anymore. People in 2023, they are not the people of the 1950s or the 1910s or the 1850s. This isn't going to fly. You may, you may think there's a way to do it. There isn't. You are outnumbered. You are going against everyone but Christian, white Male, straight, rich men. Rich old men who've been controlling the narrative in this country, or trying to, for as long as we can remember. You have places where this complete racism and bigotry is being rejected, like in Alabama. You have Ohio that was not going to put up with their constitution of their state being changed and uh, Kansas, I believe, and, and, and many other places. This, this isn't going to work, and it could lead to a lot of very bad things. I hope it doesn't. I hope what happens is that these people are all voted out and we learn a valuable lesson about how precious this flawed but ever transformative democracy is. So here's what I would like to really, and, and I think this is where I can give you a very unique perspective. Now, as some of you may know, who I've uh, had been lucky enough to have all of you follow me and, and support me, I was in a situation a few years ago where I had been told I was not going to be here for more than a few more months. Uh, as science and fate would have it, that ended up not being the case. But this is what happens. We all seem to think that we're going to be here forever, although the, the evidence is very clear. The evidence, that everybody's died, nobody's come back. Not Jesus and not anyone else. No one's been resurrected, it just hasn't happened yet. Now, this is another whole video. Do I think there are some chances of our longevity as a species and uh, as individuals? Sure, with science. But that isn't gonna happen overnight. So right now, 
for the people like Trump and DeSantis and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jim Jordan and uh, Lauren Boebert and all of these other extremists who think that we're going to go back to some horrible time when America was great again or was great, it wasn't great. It wasn't great for everybody. And, and, and they know that. They don't want it to be great for everybody. They want it to be great for wealthy Christian men, older men usually, who want to control what they've been controlling for, for as long as we can remember. So what you and I have to realize is that we are stewards here. That's what we are. We aren't kings. We aren't queens. We aren't going to be in control forever. We are stewards of this planet. So again, one of my other topics, it doesn't really matter if you believe climate change and the 98% of the uh, scientific community that supports it. It doesn't matter. It, maybe you think it's just changes in weather that are normal. But either way, it's happening. So you've got to deal with it. You've got to deal with it whether you believe it's climate change due to our... Uh, pollution and everything since the industrial age or if you believe it's a normal change either way it's got to be dealt with but unfortunately people like you who I'm speaking about only care about themselves they only care about today they don't care about tomorrow so when I say we are stewards of this planet of this globe we are the people who are coming forward now the people who are coming of age they're in their 20s, they're in their teens. These are the people that are going to continue. These are the people that we need to make an example for, a good example of empathy, of uh, dealing with our neighbors in a way that is positive, of embracing our diversity, not some ideological nonsense of, uh, let me, let me uh, give Odin his ball. Say hello, Odin. And we have to continue to grow as a species, not go backwards. We need to go forwards. And the only way that we're going to do that is by completely uh, going against these insane ideas, the stuff that has happened since Trump w went down that escalator, the insanity of uh, words that make no sense, ideas that make no sense, his pathetic uh, excuses that his legal team is coming up for now. The man broke the law. You don't have to love Joe Biden. Honestly, he wasn't my first choice, but he's not trying to overthrow our democracy. Plain and simple. You can call it the Biden crime family, and as we've all said a million times, if you, if you find evidence, credible evidence, then fine, prosecute him, have him arrested, have him impeached, whatever. But it, it's just not there. It's not the same thing. Now, is, are, are most of our politicians corporate owned uh, and, and funded? Sure. And that's uh, something that we all need to fix. But it is an entirely different subject than a orchestrated coup to take over our democracy, our constitutional republic, for a authoritative, theocratic, nonsense-ridden, zealotry, horrific, it's insanity, and we all know it. So you're not going to get your way with this. The people of a country like ours who have been able to slowly achieve our freedoms, slowly achieve diversity, and, and, you know, we're not there yet, but we're not going backwards. You can take that and you can stick it. Fuck all of you and anyone who's supporting them at this point. It is insanity. We all know this. So as uh, someone on here always says, and I've said it before in my own way, let us see who you are. Don't hide. I want to see all of the, the paraphernalia. Show who you are and be the racist, disgusting, homophobic, transphobic, misogynistic, bigots that you are and we can see you and you're in the minority you're going to be done you're a dying breed you're going the way of the dinosaurs to everyone else i love you peace and have a great day